In the heart of a peaceful village in the United States, there lived a wise old monk named Master Liu, known for his unwavering serenity and unshakable happiness, even in the face of life's greatest challenges. His teachings had transformed the lives of countless people, and his wisdom was sought far and wide. One day, a curious traveler named Sarah arrived at the village, searching for answers to the secret of happiness. She had faced her share of hardships and heartaches, and yearned to discover how to stay happy, no matter the situation. Sarah found her way to Master Lu's simple cottage, nestled amidst a grove of ancient oak trees. She was greeted by the monk's warm smile, and invited to sit under the shade of the trees. The wise monk began to share a timeless Buddhist story that held the essence of staying happy, regardless of the circumstances. Dear traveler, Master Liu began, in the mountains of Tibet, there lived a young monk named Tenzin. He was known for his infectious joy and boundless happiness, no matter the situation. People often came to him, wondering how he maintained his blissful state. 1. The Empty Cup Master Liu recounted Tenzin's first teaching. Once, a scholar approached Tenzin and said, I have heard of your happiness. Please teach me how to be as content as you. Tenzin offered the scholar a cup of tea, but he poured it until the cup overflowed. Stop! cried the scholar. The cup is full! It can't hold any more! Tenzin smiled and said, Just like this cup, your mind must be empty of preconceptions and attachments to find true happiness. 2. The Bamboo in the Storm The wise monk continued, On another day a farmer approached Tenzin. He had lost his crops in a violent storm and was devastated. Tenzin told him, When the bamboo bends with the storm it survives, but the rigid oak tree breaks. To be happy you must learn to bend with life's challenges, not resist them. 3. The Lotus in the Mud Master Liu shared one more story. Tenzin often spoke of the lotus flower. It grows in the muddiest waters but remains pure and beautiful. Just like the lotus, we can find happiness amid life's difficulties by nurturing the beauty within ourselves, even in the midst of chaos. Sarah listened with rapt attention, understanding that the secret of happiness lay not in changing external circumstances, but in transforming one's inner perspective. With a heart full of gratitude, she thanked Master Lu and left the village determined to cultivate an empty cup, bend like the bamboo, and blossom like the lotus. She realized that happiness was not found in the avoidance of life's storms, but in embracing them with grace and resilience. Master Lu's wisdom had shown her the path to staying happy, no matter what the situation.